YouTube, it's me again. I figured I'd make one last quick video because as a lot of you guys know, um, Japan is 14 hours ahead of the East Coast of the United States time zone wise. So it is the mid afternoon of December 31st. And I wanted to get one last quick video in before my husband and I become some of the first people on the planet to welcome 2014. Um, so a lot of people for New Year's, first of all, this is my makeup look for New Year's, by the way. I am loving how this turned out. It is kind of a, I mean, I noticed a lot of people were loving like bright colors and bright purple and glitter. And I'm like, hey, awesome. You know, I, but I've been doing that for a couple of weeks now and I just felt like something different. Um, I felt very chic today. I felt very classy. So I wanted to class it up and I still kept the glitter because it's New Year's. You got to have glitter on New Year's but I decided to kind of tone it back with some brown tones and some neutrals from the Lorac Pro palette. I love how this turned out. I love how it looks with the lashes. It's very glam, it's very chic, it's very classy, which is what I was going for. So I wanted to talk about the lip color I've got on today um, because I know a lot of people are planning on doing a little smooching and a little drinking on New Year's and they don't want their lip color to get on their glass or worse, on their partner. Um, and I found something that's pretty good for solving that problem. That product is Revlon's Color Stay Overtime Lip Color and this is what it looks like. This is the tube. As you can see, it's got pigment on one side and then it's got a clear gloss on the other. Now, uh, this color I believe is, yes, this color is called Bare Maximum. It is a pinky nude shade. It's a little bit darker than it looks. Um, I thought it was just gonna kind of be a my lips but better color, but it's a little bit dark. So I did put on uh, L'Oreal Ferris Nude over top of it just to lighten it up a little bit. Um, but this lip color is some serious business. Once you put this on and you let it dry and then you put the clear gloss on over top, this stuff is not going to budge all night long. I mean, you could eat with this, you can drink with this. I took a makeup wipe to my mouth and just like wrapped the makeup wipe around my finger and rubbed it on my lips over and over and over again. And while some pigment did come off, I still had color on my mouth. Like, it's crazy. I was dumbfounded when, <laughs> when I found this stuff. You do have to be very, very careful with it because wherever you put it, it's gonna stay for a decently long time. Um, I opted to not use the clear gloss. I put it on over top at first, but with the glitter on this eye look, it just became way too shiny. So I just put L'Oreal Ferris Nude over top because it is a cream textured lipstick and it's moisturizing without being too shiny. But you can always use the clear gloss as it was intended. Um, you have to give this stuff some time to dry. So you put the pigment on and I would wait at least five minutes for this stuff to dry. Otherwise you're gonna have major color transfer onto your gloss brush and no one wants that. But honestly, let me level with you. I could totally recommend this to anyone. It is crazy, crazy good. I mean, this stuff is not going to budge. It's not gonna move. It's not gonna end up on your boyfriend, girlfriend. It's not gonna end up on your drink glass at all. Like, I'm shocked with this stuff, really. It comes in a decent amount of colors. Um, this is the only one I have right now, so I'm planning on getting some more colors to try because I wanted to play it safe with a nude, but very, very happy with this and I would recommend it to anyone. So now it's your turn, YouTube. Do you guys have any New Year's resolutions? Any plans, any partying that's gonna be going on? Resolution-wise, I've never been one to make New Year's resolutions because I never kept them. Um, so I'm just kind of gonna keep doing my thing. I mean, uh, live in the dream. Uh, my main goal is to make the most out of my time in Japan and really take in the culture, take in the language, take in everything and make the most of it and just really enjoy my time here because this is an amazing country and I want to soak it all up and take it all in. So I guess if I were to have to have a New Year's resolution, that would be it. So go ahead and share your New Year's resolutions in the comments below. 
be safe, don't drink and drive, don't get in any trouble at all. Yeah, all that motherly stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Be safe, guys, and I will see you in 2014. Happy New Year. Bye.